Because they should never stay in on a max airstream. Oh. Oh, yeah, we did it. <laughs> we did it. We're going to get to plus two here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another episode of Boost to the Top of VGC 2021. Now, in this episode, I'll be trying out a team I found in my Discord, which is linked in the description down below. If you guys want to share your rental teams, there is a channel for that. Uh, but this team looks really interesting. It's got uh, Thunderous Therian form, which isn't something you see too often. I think it looks really really gross in this team, especially paired next to that Tailwind Whimsicott with Fake Tears. Uh, on top of that, we have a Mental Herb, Freezing Glare, Trick Room, Imprison, uh, Glare and Articuno, which I'm excited to try out. I don't have the EV spreads on these guys, so this might be a little bit more of a rough session, but I am excited to try out the team. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, because I'll be bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. Let's try to shoot for 200 likes on today's video. Every like helps me get into the algorithm of the YouTube platform, make me a little bit more famous on the YouTube platform. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Also, uh, before we get into the video, be sure to check out the link in the description down below to the Tiltify campaign where me and some other streamers will be competing in a tournament this weekend uh, trying to raise some money for mental health awareness for a charity called Checkpoint. You can donate in that link in the description. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this. I'm excited to try out the team. I was actually, like, I was originally recording a video where I tried to use Blaziken Bisharp in this format, and it was not going well. Oh my god, I lost like six out of seven matches, and I said, you know what, this team is bad. Why would I share a objectively bad team? You know, besides yesterday's video where I used, I, I used a bad team on purpose, but <laughs> that's besides the point. Question of the day, guys. Question of the day. Uh, it's going to be, what Pokemon do you want me to build around? I definitely want to like challenge myself to build around Pokemon you guys suggest, and i just like to know, like, give me some obscure Pokemon you really wish w I would make a team around, and I'll maybe make a rental around it, you know? I, I definitely want to finish up that Buzzwall team first in-game, because I think it's really, really heat. It, it just it just works so well, and I love Buzzwall. Hopefully we can find a match, too. It looks like it's taking a second. Is no one online playing? I would assume that there'd have to be someone online, you know? The game's only a year old. Okay, there we go. It took a minute. So we're facing Daniel. Dang, Daniel. I can't say the actual meme because YouTube will hate me. Okay, so standard Trick Room Glacier with a fast Kartana, a lucky option. Um, this feels like a good game. Oh, wait, no, they don't have Trick Room. Bro, what? Okay, uh, never mind. I don't know why. I thought, when I saw Indeedee and Glacier, I was like, oh, yes, Trick Room. That, that Indeedee doesn't get Trick Room. Okay. Okay, I can I can live with that. Um, wow, okay. Let's just go Whimsicott Thunderous. I'm excited to try this out. Okay. Uh, in the back, I think Metagross doesn't seem like a very bad option. And it's between Tapu Fini and Landorus. I'm going to have to go Landris just for the better Kartana matchup along with the better Rotom Heat matchup, so let's do that. Okay, let's get it. I want to get back into streaming, but I'm so busy, it's it's hard to find time to stream. Like, I used to play ladder matches for like two hours every night on stream, but it's a little bit more difficult nowadays to find the time. This thing doesn't get speed swap, right? Okay, I mean, I should be able to just Tailwind up. Maybe I just Fake Tears. Maybe I just Fake Tears the Glacier and knock it out immediately. I don't know if this will do it. I really don't. Um, he can't go for, like... I don't know, like, uh... I'll just go for it. I'll just go for it. He can set up a Light Screen, but I think it's fine. Even if I lose this guy immediately, because I'll just Revenge Kill his Dynamax option. Yeah, because I can just bring in Landers to Revenge Kill it regardless. I get that they're like safer plays, but I want to Dynamax this this uh, this uh Thunderous. So apparently Thunderous is supposed to be like a dragon, or a snake or something in its Therian form, but I, I, you could you could not convince me that's a dragon. As he does Dynamax the, I assume Glacier, 
If you Dynamax the Regieleki, I'd be really confused, because I would just be immune to everything with Volt Absorb. I'm going to say that this is still going to do a solid chunk of damage coming off a of base 145 special attack. Fake Tears. Light Screen, I assume. Yep. And, like I said, even if I go down, I can just Revenge Kill it. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I made a little bit of an oopsie. <laughs> maybe I made a really big oopsie here. There's the Max Hailstorm. Okay, uh, might have made a big oopsie. Actually, no, I have Electro Train Regieleki. <laughs> Didn't I bring the Regieleki? Do I not have a Regieleki? Am I going crazy right now? No, what am I saying? I have a Metagross. Why did I think I have a Regieleki? I was... That's because it was on the team I was just using. Okay, and he didn't set up a Reflect. I don't know how much speed this Metagross has. Um, I don't know how much speed the Metagross has. I do have a Landorus. I would say I could go for, like, Tailwind plus my attack, but I guess Iron Head is my best option. He could go for a Reflect is the issue, though. If, if I have enough speed to outspeed plus two Regieleki, that'd be great, but I really doubt I do. I'll go ahead, and I'll try to get my try to get my weakness policy here. Let me send in the Landers to make this a little bit easier to live. And I'll Protect. I think they should always go for Max Quake into my Metagross here. They should also go for uh, Reflect. It's the Electroweb, Immune. Okay, they max quaked. I'm gonna get my uh, gonna get my weakness policy, which means I should definitely knock this guy out. Electro is gonna hurt though. And I really doubt they have enough speed to outspeed Metagross when I'm only at minus one. They would have to be like max speed on this uh, Glacier because it's base thirty. Then again, they didn't have a Trick Room option. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to U-turn on this Regieleki. And just go for my Iron Head. To KO the Glacier. Because that'll get in the uh, the Whimsicott safely. And then I can maybe go for a Tailwind. Since... Oh wait, no. He wouldn't even be able to lower my speed. since he's um, Since I have Clear Body. It, it will do a lot of damage, though. That's the issue. That's the main issue. Thunderbolt? Ah, uh, I don't think I live that. I'm getting destroyed. I'm getting destroyed right now. And it's not fun. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I, I probably should have just Dynamaxed that Metagross, and this match would have gone a lot more smoothly, but I had to use it. I had to use the Thunderous. Okay. Who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll still be able to win since uh, an earthquake from this range would KO, and as Dynamax is over, I think I have to crit my earthquake, or maybe just go for a rock slide. I would assume rock slide's my best bet here, since it should KO a Lucky from this range. 
The only thing is that it has a chance to miss. That's the big part. <laughs> and if he goes for Reflect... No, he goes for Light Screen. Do you not have Reflect? Okay, I connect. And I failed to KO Glacier. Because <laughs> that thing is so bulky. Yep, there's the Ice Cold Crash, and good game. We're going to pretend that that never happened, and that I wasn't dumb enough to try to use the cool Pokemon immediately. Because my play 100% was just to go into Metagross turn 1, but I didn't feel like it. I wanted to use my stupid Thunderous. <laughs> it's all good, though. Oh, yay, a rare candy. It's like, hey, kid. I know you just lost really, 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 really badly, but here's here's some candy. <laughs> Ow, my ranking. Alright. So, I, I still want to use the Thunderous, but maybe this time I won't just use it on Glacier. <laughs> maybe this time I'll use it with some common sense. Okay. So, this is an interesting team. Uh, I mean, Volt Absorb, Thunderous, uh, Landorus. I don't know if they would even carry Trick Room in this matchup. Wow, this is an interesting one. It looks like they just kind of... Huh. It's so weird, because there are so many Pokemon that are immediately threatening... But not the typical one, so it's a little bit awkward to like just look at a team preview. I think what I want to do here is... I might just go with my, my Thunderous lead again. Metagross in the back. Or maybe I could actually lead off Articuno. Articuno could do a lot here. We'll do that. We'll lead off Articuno, because it actually has a lot of potential in this matchup. Uh, especially versus their Thunderous, if I can get a Tailwind off. I think I want to bring my Landorus, but I also want to bring my Thunder or my my Metagross. I think that's my play here. Yeah, I have to be really careful with that Suicune though. It could be a big nuisance. Okay, Thunderous Rillaboom. So I think here, I made a big oopsie. I mean, I outspeed their Thunderous, right? I can go for a Tailwind, and I think I just go into my Landorus. Or I could Protect, just to play it safe. On the fake out, you know? And we'll go Landorus here. Take the electric move. Also intimidate the uh, the opposing Rillaboom. Yep, they Dynamax. They probably just went for a Max Lightning. Yep, there it is. Thunderous, uh, hold on, I'm checking something. So I go for my Protect. So at max speed, by the way, I'm using the Extreme Speed app. Uh, at max speed, I am still slower than their Thunderous. Uh, they go for the Max Lightning, which is really good. I think what I want to do here is just go for my... I want to go for my Tailwind and knock out that Rillaboom. But they could also intimidate me is the, is the issue. I don't want them to intimidate me. Maybe my play here is to go into my Articuno for my, <laughs> for my uh, Whimsicott. Hmm. You know what? No. I think I Tailwind here, right? 
Because I feel like they always bring out their Landorus. I'm going to double out into my Articuno. I think that's what they do. I think they should always go out into Landorus for their Rillaboom. Because they should never stay in on a Max Airstream. Oh! Oh yeah, we did it. <laughs> we did it. We're going to get to plus two here. And all I have to do is hope that they didn't target it into my into my um my boy here, my boy Articuno. And then I can go for fake tears and KO this guy. With like max whatever. Max Mindstorm. Max Ooze, okay, that's fine. Cause I am focus sash. I'll live this hit. I can go for fake tears this turn and go for max uh <laughs> and go for my max mindstorm. We're about to get a, a nice little sweep with this guy, because we made one really, really good call. Okay. Hold up. Articuno Galarian, Tailwind. I'm using the Extreme Speed app right now just to keep track of speed tiers. <laughs> Shout out to them, again. They paid me for the ad yesterday, but it's just it's just a good app, you know? It's just a genuinely good app. How can I not use it? I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this is gonna KO. Fake tears into plus two max mindstorm, I'm gonna say that KOs. I see max guards, that's fine. Because next turn, it's it's essentially like he got... <laughs> it's essentially going to be just like he got fake tiered, because his HP is going to get cut in half. As he goes for Rock Slide, I can live that. Let me get in my Landorus here to intimidate his. And I think I always have to go for the Max Mindstorm into this thing to make sure I don't get knocked out. And I can also go ahead and click uh, Rock Slide, hoping for flinches. This also covered the... Oh wait, no, he already took damage, so it doesn't matter if he Sash. Go for a Mindstorm on the Thunderous. As he withdraws, okay. What's coming out? Heatran? Uh, that shouldn't take the hit great. Especially, um... Yeah, especially since I'm going for Rock Slide here, he'll take a decent chunk of damage. It's essentially neutral. Which is not appreciated at all, as you see here. And I can just click Earthquake in a second, uh, Max Mindstorm. But this time into the Landorus. And I flinch his Landorus, which is great. Uh, let me go ahead and just click Earthquake and Max Mindstorm into his Landorus. What's concerning though is once my tail wins out, I won't be able to beat his uh, his thunderous with my uh, with my Galarian Articuno. He turn protects. That's fine. Get the KO here. And my Tailwind Peter's out, which is a bit concerning. I could try to Trick Room up, but I know it's not going to work out. There's his Rillaboom. I definitely need to keep my Landorus healthy. That's the thing. Because that's one of my best ways of beating his Thunderous, because I'm a Salt Vest. So I suppose my play is to go into Metagross, and I don't want to Trick Room, because it's risky. I'll just go for Freezing Glare. 
Maybe I'll get a freeze in the Heatran. That could be Heat. And he has to go for Fake Out onto the uh, onto the Landorus every time, I think. Because even with the Shookaberry and the Grassy Train, it'd be very close. Plus two Freezing Glare. Should be doing a solid chunk. Alright, there's the Heat Wave. Articuno avoids, which is great. Metagross gets his weakness policy. Okay. And I absolutely have to get rid of this, um, this Rillaboom. I don't know how fast my Metagross is, but I'm assuming I'm faster than that Heatran. So I'll Stomping Tantrum here. And go for another Freezing Glare in the Rillaboom. This should pick up a KO. And he definitely isn't Choice Scarf since we he revealed Protect last turn. There's the Heat Wave. I unfortunately do not avoid it, um, but on this next turn, as he burns my Articuno, that's fine. On this next turn, I think what I have to do is protect the Articuno, and just go for a Rock Sled. Because he should always go for the uh, Protect and the KO on my, on my Articuno. And two Rock Slides will KO this Thunderous, I think. Or this, um... Well, I guess both of them. Thunderous and the Heatran. Yeah, uh, Thunderous shouldn't be carrying any moves that actually do too much damage. So I'll Protect. Okay, hopefully we catch a Thunderbolt into the Protect. Heatran Protects, looks like I made the right call there. Dark Pulse, okay. So no Thunderbolt. And I just have to connect on this guy. Okay. That does a solid chunk, we just have to do that one more time. And then I can beat out Heatran with, uh, with Earthquake. Rock Slide. I guess I always go for the Double Protect. There's no reason not to. As he protects. I get my Protect as well. That's great. Go for my Rock Slide. If I connect with this Heatran, I should be able to pick up a Double KO next turn. Oh no, that does like nothing. <laughs> I do flinch him, though, so we're good. I mean, I'm Assault Vest, so I, I would eat up the hit from the Heatran regardless. I Rock Slide here. Go for a Turbo Protect, because there's no reason not to. I need to KO that Thunderous. That's the biggest thing. Fail my triple protect, which, I mean, that's expected. <laughs> he goes for discharge. That's fine. I'm not going to take any damage here, which is great. And as long as I connect this rock slide, I win. Okay, we connect, and that's game, because I just have to click Earthquake. Of 
Grassy Terrain's gone, so even if he is Shook a Berry, there's no way he lives. Let's click it, Earthquake, and that's game. Nice. Not even Shook a Berry either. Okay. Nope, not interested. <laughs> Let's continue battling and get one more for the video. Alright, and uh, we'll just go with that classic gym leader music. That music's so good. PTP, alright. Ooh, okay. Um, it looks like... Dang, what does Sceptile do? Because usually Sceptile runs like a, a seed or something. It could be Adrenaline Orb just to be un like unbelievably... Ha uh, uh, why can't I speak? Unbelievably fast. But, I don't know. This team looks like it's very, very focused on speed. I don't think anything gets speed swap. However, there is a Trick Room option with Glacier. I would say I should always lead off Thunderous. Thunderous for the Aleki lead. Does this Wimscott have Taunt? I don't think so, since we have Tailwind. Yeah. We will go Thunderous Articuno. We'll bring Landorus in the back, and I think my last Mon... I don't think I need the Tailwind. If I can catch them on the... on the Articuno, I can prevent their Trick Room altogether. I think they would want to go Trick Room here. I'll go Metagross for my last Pokemon. A bit concerned about that, uh, about that Amoongus. Yeah, I'm not sure what that Sceptile's up to. Alright. Intellion Sceptile. So, oh, you know what? This is a pledge team. Why am I so stupid? This is just a pledge team. Hmm. Luckily, I can just go for Trick Room. Yeah, I'll just go for Trick Room, and then I can win with Metagross. I just have to survive, though. That's the issue. Let me uh, try to Thunderbolt here. I think they would target Thunderous. Because they're going to set up the Swamp, right? There's Soak. Oh, okay. No, it's not Pledges. That's fine, though. <laughs> Still got my Trick Room off. Get rid of Inteleon. We'll go down next turn. I was fully expecting them to set up the Swamp. Because the Swamp cuts your speed to like a quarter, I think. Okay. Um, what can I do here for free? I guess I would just go Metagross. And uh, go for the Freezing Glare on the Inteleon for the KO. Hopefully they didn't bring Glacier, because I think if they're going with this lead, they didn't bring Glacier. If they bring out Glacier right now, I'm going to be really, really scared. Because I just set up their Trick Room for them. They withdraw. Chandelure. Okay, they might have brought Glacier. Telling him protect, so that's fine. I mean, I should be able to KO Chandelure here by Dynamaxing and going for Max Quake. I'll just double into it. 
uh, because if it, if it's Focus Sash, I'll get the KO. If it's not Focus Sash, the other move will just redirect into the uh, into the Inteleon. And I should eat pretty much any hit from this guy. At least once, because I'm Metagross. Max Quake. Oh, Shuka. Okay. Glad I doubled. And now I get a special defense boost, so... Even if he does attack before my, um... Before my Articuno, which he should. I'll just get a weakness policy boost. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I mean, that just that just brings me to neutral. I think that's fine. Yeah, I can live with neutral, especially if I just go for more special defense boost, you know? Alright, we got that KO. Soak. It's going to get rid of all my stab options, which I will admit is pretty annoying. However, uh, I will say that this is more about the special defense boost than anything at this point. So I can wall out all of his Pokemon. There's the Sceptile. He's likely just going to go for the KO. Um, I'll go ahead and Max Quake here to get my Articuno. Even more, uh, <laughs> even more uh, especially defensive. And we'll go for the Freezing Glare into Sceptile. Since even if he does protect the Inteleon, this will pick it up. Detect, that's fine. Protect, that's fine. I'll still pick up the KO on the Inteleon. And I mean, I'm, I'm really especially defensive, so I might even just be able to set up a second Trick Room and then beat him with uh, Thunderous, depending on what the last Pokemon is. Regieleki, okay, yeah, we're good. I think here I should always just double into Regieleki, because Sceptile won't really have anything to hit my Mons with. Regieleki usually doesn't carry Protect. See they Dynamax. That should be the Sceptile. Okay. And I think I think I'm still in a position to win. Oh, as they do have protect. That's fine. Like I said, I have a ton of special defense boost now. That does a lot. Freezing Glare goes into nothing. Yeah, I was gonna say it should overgrowth here. Since I'm a uh, water type. And it does nothing, oh my god. I should be able to KO Regieleki with relatively few problems, I think. Or actually, the second one will be doing more. And I am now no longer going to be Dynamax, so maybe I'll get KO'd. It's going to be kind of close. But I should always Trick Room. Or maybe... I could switch out my Articuno for Thunderous. 
since I'm Volt Absorb. I also still have Landorus. Hmm. Protect here to minimize the damage, and I think I'll go Thunderous. This is just stalling out his Dynamax. Yep, there's the Thunderbolt. Get back up to full health, which is great. This goes for the max overgrowth trying to KO me. Oh, okay. He doubled. Interesting. Luckily though, Regieleki is the faster Pokemon. So he's forced to either protect here and get the KO, or just KO Metagross. Uh, I can deny him both KOs though by going into Thunderous, or going into Landorus, and clicking Protect. Or I could even just, um... I could even just go into Articuno here, and then bait him into going for another Thunderbolt. Since uh, I don't want to take uh, another one of those with uh, Pokemon as important as Thunder is here. I would assume he would always Thunderbolt into the Landorus slot now. Yep, not affected. Max Overgrowth. I don't think that KOs. Yeah, we eat that up. And his Dynamax is over. How much more is left of Grassy Terrain? Because I would like to stall that out as well. He has to go for the Grass move into Landorus, so I'll just bring in Metagross here. And I'll also double out into Thunderous, trying to bait in <laughs> trying to bait him to go for the electric attack. Because I do want that health. This game really comes down more to knocking out the uh, Sceptile with like a Sludge Bomb. There's the Protect on the Aleki. Leaf Storm, that won't do it. And now he's at minus two special attack. And Grassy Terrain is healing us all up. So I'll survive my burn. I still don't know if I feel safe keeping Thunderous in here. Switching Landorus again. I mean, I have Fly on Landorus. I'm probably fine just to risk this. Go for the Ice Punch. Go for the Sludge Bomb. I just have to knock out Sceptile and I win with Landorus. Yeah, that minus two special attack was really good for me. Hyper Beam, okay, they are carrying something else. But that also means it's safe to attack into this thing next turn. Dragon Pulse, alright. I am a Salt Vest Lander, so I should eat pretty much every hit. Grassy Terrain's gone, which means the Earthquake play is very safe. Just send in my two boys. And I could even go for a Trick Room here if I want to play it safe, you know? Just guarantee, regardless of what happens, I'm slower next turn. Because I don't like playing with crits. Th those are annoying, you know? Alright, uh, we'll click Earthquake here. As well as a Trick Room. Because then I could just double attack, you know? There's the Dragon Pulse, presumably into you, that's fine. 
I can just click fly. Or U-turn, even. Let's pick up the KO. Nice, that did a lot to Sceptile, too. And if it did that much to Sceptile with a spread ground move, I'm going to say that U-turn KOs here, so we'll just click that. No need to risk. Leaf Storm, he's going for a crit. Not getting it. I think even with the crit, because my Assault Vest, I would have lived. And I'll pick up the KO here. Nice. So good game to my opponent. That was a really cool team. Uh, so can Teleon. Like, it puts on a lot of offensive pressure immediately. I think my Trick Room is what mattered, though. Uh, and they also made a really good play by going for the Burning Jealousy. So, yeah. Good game to my opponent. Uh, overall, I think this is a really fun team. I definitely didn't pilot it the best since I don't have all the information I need, but I like it a lot. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, with that, I'm going to call it. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.